Hey guys, Gary Dean. There we go, let me get some light over here. It's Gary Dean, uh, DetailJuice.com. So this video is gonna be a pretty, maybe you're thinking, blah, 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 blah. Maybe you'll think it's amazing, maybe you won't, I don't know, but here's what I do know. For years and years and years, uh, I have been working on trying to figure out a solution for what I have a solution for today. Um, now, I didn't invent anything, but you guys know that I'm always trying to uh, improve processes in detailing and, and, and make the whole process more stream, streamlined where uh, it is less cumbersome to carry around tools and equipment. Uh, it is, uh, I try to make it more uh, fuel efficient by not having all the bulk. Um, and I just try to save time without compromising quality. And one of the biggest problems in the industry, in my opinion, with generators for power is the noise that they produce. Um, they're also, I don't know if you'd call them toxic, but if you're driving around with that, the gas fumes and whatnot inside your vehicle, you know, that's, that's not good. Um, I don't know that you'll die from it. I'm not sure. I'm not a doctor, but I know I don't like to breathe in that kind of stuff. Uh, and so with the generator and that kind of thing, they produce good power, the inverter generators do, but they are noisy and you've got to feed them gas all the time. So that's not necessarily a problem because it's really the most economical way to go about getting reliable power on a job site and being able to take it wherever you go without being a huge form factor or really cumbersome or bulky. But I've been really working hard on trying to figure out how I can, well, let me just give you a little bit of a backstory. Um, I'm really into camping and the outdoors and that kind of thing. And um, I've had several RVs over the years and campers and that kind of thing. And I was interested in putting in a solar system uh, so that I could use the power of the sun to charge batteries in turn, I could use that power in the camper uh, instead of having to have a generator or what they call shore power. So I have a considerable background in 12 volt car audio. That's what I did for a living when I was younger. Uh, that's how I made money. Uh, it's always been a hobby of mine and that kind of thing. I'm still pretty into the whole uh, car audio scene. I used to compete in several different uh, organizations. I did actually very well uh, in several different organizations, several different classes in not only sound pressure level or SPL, but also sound quality. So I'm very, uh, very knowledgeable about how a 12 volt system works, how to get power in and out of a battery, um, you know, amplifiers and that kind of thing. Um, how power, um, and fusing work together and you know trying to understand the simple math uh, that is uh, the 12 volt uh, realm if you will because uh, you guys know I'm all about the simple math so I have found a way to make power uh, off of a marine deep cycle battery now I'm gonna try to keep it simple when I show you guys this but it would behoove you to start looking at some van life videos or whatever to start to understand um, how the power and amp hours and uh, watts, amps, volts, all that stuff works together. Um, I'm going to give you the basic rundown on all of that stuff, but again, I'm not trying to be the authority on it. I am trying to say that I do have experience in 12 volt. I do understand it. Uh, and I also do have a solution for those of you who don't want the noise of a generator uh, when, you know, if you're working in parking lots early in the morning or you're just trying to harness the power of the sun to save a few dollars on gas. That works too. Uh, I have a solution right now where you can get, I would say, anywhere from six to eight cars vacuumed out with the five horsepower rigid portable vac from Home Depot that I recommend and have for years. Uh, it draws 9.2 amps and um, 
I'm able to hook up a power inverter to the battery and, and use the power of the battery to power the, uh, not only the vacuum, but also a polisher or whatever you'd want to use. I would say that the setup I'm going to leave my office and take you outside to see that I've put together, um, I've been using it, uh, I've been using it and discharging and then recharging uh, for several months now and just playing around with it at different times, different ways, um, and that kind of thing. And I've been able to successfully get six, five, between five and eight cars, depending on uh, just the situation, really, how long I go from using the battery to not using the battery and that kind of thing. And where I'm at now is, I can get plenty of cars done where it makes sense to shoot a video and show you guys what's up with it uh, and potentially uh, direct you to set up a little system by yourself. Now I can tell you the cool part about what I've got together is I'm using an, uh, well I wouldn't say old, maybe uh, it is kind of old, maybe six or seven years ago I bought this 1200 watt uh, Harbor Freight Chicago electric power inverter. It's been sitting in my garage for years. I uh, never really used it, but I, you know, started, you know, about six or seven months ago, I started messing around with it uh, with different batteries. I finally found a battery that works really well and it's really not too expensive. Um, so for about $200, you can get the equivalent of what I have. You can buy the battery. It's still a current model at Walmart. Um, and you can go to Harbor Freight or even Amazon. I'm sure you can find a decent, uh, at least 1200 to 15 watt power inverter, uh, preferably pure Synwave. Uh, again, look all those specs up. I, you know, I'm, again, I'm not trying to get into the uh, solar power or electrical power business per se. I want to show you guys how I can help you to improve your businesses and cut down on some noise, some bulk, and all that kind of thing. Um, and so I'm going to show you this setup that I have. I'm using zero gauge wiring to run from the battery to the inverter. Um, that would be additional to the 200. I think the battery was 70 bucks. It's 135 amp hour, uh, 1000 cold cranking amps, uh, deep cycle, ever start marine, uh, deep cycle battery from, from Walmart. Nothing incredibly fancy but it happens the one to be the one that i i bought for my boat and ended up not using that one and it's been sitting in my garage again um i just wanted to use things i had laying around to confirm that i could make it work but this battery seems to be working very well at 135 amp hours now again do all your research on batteries and amp hours watts volts uh you know amperage all that stuff but one thing you need to know about a lead acid deep cycle battery is you only want to discharge about 50%. So if it's 100, for example, if it's 100 amp hours, that's your discharge rate of usable power. Um, so if you can only discharge 50% before you need to recharge or the battery will start to take a beating and last less time, uh, you want to only discharge to 50 amp hours. So you only have 50 usable amp hours. Now, I am going to lithium. I'm building a badass system for myself. I will show you guys what's happening, but you know, the system that I'm building is gonna be quite different than what you see, not in components, but it is gonna be quite different in um, reliability. It's gonna be quite different in the cost that it you know takes to get up and running. Uh, it is just going to be a definitely another step up in technology uh, than what I'm going to show you. However, what I'm going to show you works very well. And the reality is, if you go through one battery in a year, this battery costs seventy dollars. Uh, even if you spent more, it doesn't matter. You go through one battery in a year, and you're doing. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 50 cars a week, you're definitely going to get your, get, get your money's worth even if you're throwing batteries out every single year. So just keep that in mind. Now, the other option that I'm going to take, at what I'm building mine out of, is a lithium battery. Now, you get 
Again, you can Google the difference between your lead acid and your lithium batteries, but the bottom line is uh, with the lead acid, you've got about a 50% discharge rate before you've got to recharge it, or, or I'm sorry, discharge um, capacity, if you will, before you need to recharge it uh, to keep your battery in good, good working order. You can do mo multiple batteries if you want, if you want more power or whatever, but I'm showing you, you don't have to have more than one good battery and a good inverter to make this happen. You also will need a uh, 12 volt battery charger. I use just a cheap, cheap uh, I think it's a Schumacher deal I got from Walmart for 20, 30 bucks. Um, I am at, able to do uh, between five and eight cars, vacuuming them out, all the interior and the trunk, uh, with 50% uh, of that one battery. Uh, you want to watch your voltages, you want to connect a voltmeter. You'll see, I've got all that set up in my garage. Uh, I am going to go ahead and put it together in a mobile rig uh, just so I could use it a little bit more and I'll keep you guys updated on this very basic system. Uh, but again, it's a good battery, good inverter. Uh, you can run solar panels to charge the battery. Uh, however, I have found that you, I haven't needed to do that. Uh, I have only had to charge it overnight uh, or, you know, or a full 24 hour day, but just keep in mind. I'm not detailing all day every day anymore. I, I might do five to ten cars a week uh, on a very busy week on weeks that aren't real busy. I might do uh, you know two to three cars in a week. So uh, just keep that in mind. I will have more information about this uh, as time progresses and I'll also show you my build. Uh, but you know you're we're looking at 200 250 dollars worth of a build uh, when I take you outside and the build that I'm doing is costing me around $2,200. So it's quite different in uh, performance and in technology. Uh, I'll be able to do far more with my setup than you will with this. However, this setup that I'm gonna show you today, uh, as soon as I break out and take you outside, is awesome for the weekend warrior or even the person who details uh, full time but doesn't necessarily need the vacuum for trashed vehicles for prolonged uh, extended amounts of time. So this setup will work perfect uh, if you are a, I wouldn't say super high volume detailer, uh, but even if you were, you would just add batteries uh, to the battery bank and so on. So without further ado, I'm gonna take you outside and, and show you the battery and power in inverter setup that I've been using that I know works awesome. So here we go. Okay, so I'm out in my garage, nothing fancy. Uh, so this, the extra wires right here, this is the setup right here. I haven't mounted it anywhere. I've been using it in my garage. I actually pulled it off the shelf where I had it to, uh, put it together here so you could see it all. So I told you I have a background in car audio. I've been doing that for years and years and years. I do it now as a hobby, uh, and you know, uh, for friends, family, and myself. So I had these zero gauge uh, cables with the fittings already on them, just laying around. You're gonna need to pick up uh, some, some cables yourself. Generally, you'd buy that when you get your inverter, uh, but you want big, heavy gauge cables. These are zero gauge. That's what I would recommend. This is nothing fancy. This is just a special edition uh, extreme starting marine battery from Walmart. It is the 24. MS2 is the model of this uh, battery, 135 amp hours at one amp, positive negative. This little wiring thing is just a little thing that I, uh, I rigged up <clears throat> where I could have a, a voltmeter on it. So you can see the, the battery is not hooked up to anything except for the inverter. It's hooked up to the battery. Uh, and it's sitting at 13.4 volts. So we're good to go right now. Uh, this is the Chicago Electric 1200 watt power inverter that I've had for years from Harbor Freight. It works really well. It actually powers my five horsepower rigid portable vac just fine. You'll see, I'll show you in just a second. Uh, I just wanna show you everything that's here. Uh, this is the battery charger I've had for years. It's just a 
you know, six amp max, um, nothing fancy. You can either run it at uh, two amps or six, I believe. Um, deep cycle batteries, they need a slower charge rate uh, than regular batteries. So uh, they, they prefer slower amperage input than uh, higher. So when it comes to these, I run it on uh, the turtle setting, not the rabbit setting. So I charge them slow. And I can usually charge this thing back up uh, overnight. You know, 12-ish hours gives me a full charge after using it on five or six cars. So we're in great shape with this little system, guys. This battery cost me $70. And the equivalent to this now on Harbor Freight's website is a 1,500-watt inverter. So it's a little bit bigger. Um, you also have to keep in mind that the inverter is pulling power also so the smallest inverter you can get away with uh, the better but I'll tell you you don't want anything less than uh, 1200 that thing draws 9.2 amps um, so do all your research on amps watts and and that kind of thing I'm not here to teach you all that but I am going to tell you that this setup right here works great so if you find that same battery you find the equivalent to this either on Amazon or on Harbor Freight or at Harbor Freight, and then you run some zero gauge wire, and you always wanna have a voltmeter, because if it gets down to 11.9 volts, uh, you know you need to recharge. Stop using it and recharge that thing fully, or you're gonna start damaging your battery. So, um, we're starting at 13.4, that's what I charge it with. Uh, I think that was 30 bucks, that was 70 bucks. Uh, the equivalent to that is 130 bucks. You may be able to find it cheaper, you know, uh, one that's cheaper on Amazon. But like I said, I already had this stuff. So without further ado, you'll notice I don't have the charger hooked up to the battery at all. It's just going straight to the inverter. We're at 13.4 volts. Now I'm going to turn the inverter on. It is on. You can hear it running. Fans are on. Now check this out. The power coming straight off the inverter into the vacuum. Boom, runs it like a champ. It dropped the voltage down. But it will run and run and run and run just like that. It will run and run and run and run and run. Now I could uh, run that thing all day for you. It doesn't make any sense. Voltage goes back up when you turn it off. If you're spending more than five or 10 minutes vacuuming out a car, you're probably on a really nasty one, but I would tell you the average I spend on a car is about, it's between five and 10 minutes. I mean, I can get in there and I can get everything vacuumed out and, you know, inside 10 minutes, no problem. So uh, it's all about being efficient, getting in there, getting it done, getting out of there and not overusing your power. Uh, also, when you're not running the vacuum, you want to turn that inverter off. Like I told you, it is actually pulling power. I'm going to show you what the voltage goes to. I'll turn it off. It should go up slightly. Maybe not, but it, it is absolutely drawing current whenever you're running the inverter off the battery. So when you turn the vacuum off, turn your inverter off. Oh, it did go up, see, boom. Anyway, when you turn the vacuum off, turn the inverter off. You'll be able to get between five and eight cars, no problem. I don't know anybody who's doing, I mean, I don't know anybody who's worth having in my opinion, or uh, not in the heavy high production industry uh, that does more than 
five cars in a day anyway. So if you're not doing more than five cars in a day, this setup will be awesome. You just gotta make sure you don't discharge your battery more than 50%. Uh, if it's a lead acid battery, you also do not wanna put a lead acid battery inside your vehicle because they do off gas a little bit. It's toxic, you don't want it in there. What I would recommend is an AGM battery, AGM deep cycle battery, advanced glass mat. Uh, they don't degas, so you can be in the same closed quarters with those batteries uh, where these, I would not recommend it. So that's a basic setup. If you're gonna get a battery, I would recommend at least 100 amp hours, if not more, uh, and beyond that, I would also make sure it was an AGM battery if you wanna put it inside your vehicle. But this right here is less costly than what I generally recommend to you guys. And this is the Briggs & Stratton, the P2200. This is the uh, inverter generator. This thing, I, I buy these for about $630 on Amazon. Uh, you will absolutely, without question, spend less money than that on a system like this, and you'll have no noise, and you won't have to keep feeding that thing gas. Now, I don't know what you're going through with gas. I don't know how much it's costing you, blah, 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 blah. But if you've got to replace that battery every year, do your simple math. Whatever you're using on your generator for gas, uh, if you're just running your vacuum, uh, you want to just take whatever that number is, uh, monthly and then multiply it by 12 for you know 12 months and a, a year and then you want to just make sure that whatever battery you're getting is going to be the equivalent to uh, you know whatever you're spending in gas but for me this is less bulky and no noise it's better in my opinion than having a generator all right guys I just showed you the awesomeness that is the uh, the battery and inverter situation for powering your vacuum or your polisher. I did not mention, and this is incredibly important, you, I, I would recommend that you do a separate battery than your vehicle starting batter, battery. Do not use that one at all. Leave that system separate. Do not add to it. Make this deal separate. You cannot just go use your standard vehicle battery. You will kill it fast and you will be stranded. Not a good idea. Don't even hook this one up to that one with a battery isolator, nothing. Run a completely different battery. Deep cycle is important. AGM, advanced glass mat, is also important if it's gonna be inside your vehicle. Again, do not use your vehicle's starting battery for this situation. Good luck, guys. And for my personal stuff, for all the stuff that uh, I'm doing these days, uh, I'm actually, like I told you, I'm already building a, a very high-end, nice setup like this that I'll have in my van. Uh, but my van is more of a camper kind of deal. It's less of a work van, but I'm gonna put together a full solar system and whatnot where I can charge that setup uh, and still use it for work if I need to. But for all intents and purposes, if you get a uh, just a decent charger, or a good battery, a good minimum 100 amp power um, AGM deep cycle marine battery, and a decent power inverter, you're in good shape, you're spending less money than you would on a generator, and I mean, hell, hook a whole a solar system up to it, uh, you know, a couple hundred watts of solar, uh, especially during the summer, it'll keep you topped up. It'll be great. Anyway, if you got questions for me, I'll do my best to try to help you answer the questions, but I'm not a specialist when it comes to solar systems or batteries or whatever, I know, a lot about this stuff for sure and I can definitely lead you in the right direction but do some of your own research do, do some Google searching uh, some of those guys that live in vans and that kind of thing the van life situation uh, those guys know their shit when it comes to this solar battery inverter power thing I mean they need power in their vans and can't run a generator all the time so um, 
Let me know if you got any questions. Check out detailjuice.com if you want uh, some awesome detailing products. But this is how I'm rolling with uh, the mobile situation. And I'll keep you updated as my system gets built. And I'm also going to be using that uh, just to confirm that it's good to go. And I'll give you more updates on that. If you got questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.